hours. So some weekend clouds push in. The chance for rain this weekend is not zero, but it is quite low and we're really in this mainly dry stretch of weather. And I think that continues pretty much as we head right through the middle of this upcoming work week with rising temperatures. And one of the reasons we've stayed dry is because this area of high pressure has really just been meandering around the Ohio Valley here much of this week. It's going to get pushed off to the east. We have a weak disturbance pushing through the upper levels of the atmosphere as we go through Saturday afternoon into Sunday. That may provide us with a chance for a couple of afternoon or evening sprinkles. There's not going to be a lot associated with that. This was our better chance for rain coming up on Monday with a warm front lifting north. You can see all this green spread out across Ohio, Indiana and Illinois. Here's the thing. It continues to look as though it is not going to make the same amount of northward progress, which means the potential for that wet weather continues to look better the farther south you are. So even on Monday here, best chance for wet weather I-94 off to the south. But really to get the better chance, you have to be across Illinois, Indiana and Ohio. So temps tonight again, we're away from that risk of widespread frost, generally in the 40s, couple spots can fall into the 30s out at Lake Michigan tomorrow. It will be a fantastic day, but the water is cold, so the beaches are going to be much cooler than the temperatures inland as well. Waves are calm to just a foot again. Can't rule out a couple of those sprinkles or a passing shower Saturday. Late afternoon, better risk is in the evening. Sunday again, most of the day is dry. Looks fine for your outdoor plans this weekend. Monday, chance for that wet weather, really from I-94 off to the south. Warming temperatures, though, as we go into next week. I know, Ryan, you are all about that. 